Now, once you've got your geometry from ZBrush into Maya and you've got started on some of the production meshes and you look around, you may want to add a few things. So in this case, let's add a piece that we didn't create in the concepting phase here completely in Maya without doing any sculpting. And so I'm going to create a sort of uh, necklace with three pieces kind of right here to kind of just add a little bit more interest to this area of the creature. And so to start, I'm going to go in and create a polygon primitive and I'm just going to create a pipe. Let's move it up here. I'm going to go over to the creation node and change the radius. So it's a little bit bigger. I'm also going to rotate it kind of something like that. Okay. Let's change the height. That looks pretty good on the thickness. I actually want to make that a lot thicker and then I'll increase the radius and again, rotate, pull it out so we can see it a bit better. I also want to change the subdivisions along the axis. So let's come in here. And let's actually bump it all the way up and let's go up to 60. I'm just looking at these sections here and there are just a few of these that I want to be able to use. Let's go ahead and change our thickness, make it a little bit thicker, something like that. And let's add our radius. All right. So once we get something like this, now we can eliminate any of the geometry that we don't need. Okay. So in this case, I'm going to select initially the ones that I do want to keep. So I'm going to keep these two, these two, and these two. Now, quick way to invert our selection is to hold shift and just drag across the whole thing. And you can see now I've got everything else selected. So now I can hit just hit delete off like that. All right. So now we've got these selected. We can go ahead and center our pivot on those. And now I want to make some, uh, a necklace out of this. So I'll kind of rotate it. So it's up against the skin. We can add some thickness to this. Okay. Let me pull this out a little bit more. Control E to extrude and we'll extrude it back. Let's take our divisions down to one. You can also isol isolate this. I'm now going to add an edge loop in the center. So I'm going to hold down control with multi cut selected, hit shift, pop it right into the middle. And I like that. Now let's bevel our edges. So I'm just going to take first the corners on all of these and we'll do them all at once. Corner there and there. Let's go ahead and bevel those. And I think 0.5 is a little bit too much. So let's set this to maybe something like 0.2 or 0.3, something like that. So it knocks the corners off a little bit. All right. Now what I want to do is I basically want to select all of the edges around the top. So I'm going to select all the edges going all the way around and then I'll just deselect some of these. So I'll deselect all of these coming around here. So I just want to do another bevel to kind of knock off the top and bottom corners. All right. And then we'll do the same thing here. All right, let's do another bevel. And this time 0.5, let's actually take this down again to maybe something like 0.2 again, 0.2 or 0.3. So something like that. All right. Now I'm not going to subdivide these. And so I'm going to go ahead and just tessellate the, the front because we've got end gons here on the front. So if you want to do that really quickly, you can take your multi cut and just draw back up to those corners on the front and back. Okay. And so you do that on the rest of them and let's go ahead and create the necklace piece. So I'm actually going to scale these up a bit, maybe move them up slightly. It looks pretty good. And if you want to just create a quick piece here, you can do a polygon primitive and just do a torus. We'll bring that torus up and in the creation node, we'll increase the radius. Let's rotate it into position, bring our radius down a bit, bring our section radius down, give ourselves a few more subdivisions, kind of rotate it into position there. Now let's decrease our radius a bit. We do want it to actually fall across the neck here. So maybe something like that. We don't need all those divisions going around so we can take our height subdivisions down to something like eight, cause we'll be smoothing this part. All right. And then you just want to do when you get those done, uh, a quick UV layout on those. And then we'll be able to take those into painter and create some, a cool jewelry kind of effect there.
The reason it's black is because the normals are reversed, you probably know. So we'll just do a reverse. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the tessellation on those uh, with the multi-cut tool. In the next clip, we're going to create a very optimized medallion. So you remember, we have the sculpted medallion that we have. We can get that look with uh, a lot fewer polygons. And so we're gonna build that in the next clip.